I have an army. They should not both be on. Don't know why that's happening. Yeah, yo, I saved this Mr. Noodle box. I gotta make sure I can get every ounce of cost I can get out of this Mr. Noodle box. I just woke up. It's 7 p.m. I didn't sleep last night because I was in stats, so I look like a zombie. Hey, yo, I just got this package. Look how weird it looks. I'm gonna open it right now. When I was designing the motor drivers, I was, I was building H bridges, but the problem is once you have to build more than two H bridges, like I had four or five H bridges, that uses up 20 switches, so it gets pretty ridiculous on a on a breadboard if you have to wire it yourself. So I bought a bunch of chips that like have this integrated. And then I bought frequency to voltage converters which we can use for LEDs to figure out what pitch the music's at and then we can adjust the color of the LED. I can't explain it, it's gonna be cool. <laughs> and I bought and I bought a hundred NAND gates. It's oh, exciting. <laughs> oh so this, I can basically use one of these to power a stepper motor, or I can use one of these to power two DC motors. I, uh, I realized that you might think it fits into a breadboard. You would be wrong. I have to print my own circuit boards to make an adapter for these so that they fit in my breadboard. All right, what should you be doing here? Look, now it's making noises. Document printing cannot be executed because the paper tray is closed. Boy, it's because I broke off the paper output tray. I totally did throw it out. Wait, there's no way they don't let you print without a little latch in there. Oh my God. Bro, because I stuck the scissors into here, now the printer works. <laughs> Canon, highest quality printers you can buy. Thank you. Yeah, so we line these up. The light is gonna shine on here and it's gonna etch away the copper. Hello and welcome back to Devin Doesn't Know What He's Doing Tuesdays. Today we are in my bathroom. Maybe fatal if swallowed. But can I eat it though? <laughs> we're, we're not supposed to breathe in the fumes. I'm over here, so... Oh, the water's going everywhere. <laughs> Okay. Now I'm not sure how much you guys can see, so we're gonna peel off the protective film. All right, I just put the cup on top. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. Oh. We should see some of the green wash away. Add a tiny bit more chemical. Oh yeah, I just screwed myself. We might be able to salvage the left one. We're losing these two, but this is gonna be our test. All right, here we are again. Oh man, I can't fit the whole board. Eight minutes. Let's hope that we get two out of this one. Oh my God, it's developing so fast. I just rinsed it off and you can see. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do that again. Your boy mixed up some new chemicals, right? So now you can actually see the copper washing off. So you see this, it's covered in, in, the, in the green stuff. What's good, my meat slings? We got one working circuit right here, but the rest are crap. No, I have to I have to redo these boards, so this stuff turned really blue. This chemical. I just put way too much chemical in that water. It like instantly turned blue, but I pulled it out as fast as I could and look what I got. So now I'm gonna put this in the, um, I gotta actually mix a new, wow, I put too much. I put way too much in there. Gotta wait another hour. 
you're looking at this and you're going, wow, that looks good. I'm also an idiot because you can either do it this way or you can do it this way. And guess which way I did it? I did it this way. That's okay, I think we can uh, account for it, but how, how we drill these holes, well, I don't have a drill, but I have a 12 volt motor. I'm gonna actually attach a switch here, turn it on while I'm holding it so I don't have to like, Then when I press the switch, oh, that worked better than I thought. Let's get a good grip on it here. I've got these pin headers, right? And these pin headers are what can go inside of the breadboard. It is Friday. I just got back from work. I need at least one space on this end so I can actually connect the wires. As you can see, I can't even, and then there's no space on the other side. Okay, how does this man work? Okay, I'm gonna have to hold my hand here. I feel like that's an awful idea. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. Make sure I don't cut my hand off. Whew. Now when you take a look at it, uh, we can actually plug it into the breadboard. Here's our here's our board design. Six pins on the left side, six pins on the right side. I'm gonna hook this up to one of the stepper motors and see if I can actually get it running. Ooh, uploaded. Oh, the power supply is not on. <laughs> <gasps> I guess this this I'm not sure what this video is, but I'm trying to uh, make more videos about my projects, even if you know I don't necessarily accomplish anything. What the hell? Yeah, it doesn't quite look right. I guess this video is the story about, you know, this this is what happens when you're engineering stuff sometimes. You don't always accomplish something great. Sometimes you just uh, print a circuit board and uh, you make the motors go back and forth. So <laughs> I guess that's I guess that's the story of this video. Um, this motor actually can't push more than like two batteries at a time because there's friction. I'm going to make the stack like on this on an angle and then we're going to have another motor on top which dispenses the batteries into this location. You know, in, in the next, basically in part three, we're going to connect the third motor and then we're going to we're going to do all of our processing on the Arduino. We're going to connect a display and the display is going to log the battery capacity, which I guess I can put over here. Uh -huh. 